In today's episode, I have a very, very rare blueberry species that only grows in Costa Rica. It is so rare that, I mean, just look at the Wikipedia page. There's like no information about this thing. So today we are documenting something that very few people get the pleasure of trying, the Costa Rican blueberry. Ready? Okay, great. Yeah, these ones are red, nope. but some of the darker ones here. And this is native to Costa Rica? It's Costa Rica only. Only only here. All right. To the Talamanca mountain range only. Really? Just this one mountain range? Mm -hmm. So this mountain range goes through just Costa Rica? It doesn't go to Panama? Only to the Panama border. To the border, okay. Does that look pretty? Yeah. Okay. Very small, little berry. Let me take a bite out of it. It's hard to show, but the inside is um, not red. It's kind of like a little um, greenish, yellowish color. That's that's pretty good. The uh, the flavor of it. Well, let me break it down a little bit. It's tart maybe like um six out of ten and uh it's a little bit sweet not very sweet maybe like a three out of ten on sweetness it's it's like a simple kind of flavor like not exactly like a regular blueberry and because it's tart it's making me think maybe like more like a lingonberry like that sort of sort of taste, like a little cranberry-ish in a way, but it's not bitter at all. So maybe somewhere between like a blueberry and a lingonberry, like that that sort of taste. But it's nice, it's a nice little, little fruit. I think that would also be a good one to make a juice out of because it does have a nice tartness to it. Since you, you've had more than I have of this berry, um, how would you describe that flavor, Mark? I describe them as a more sour and pungent uh, blueberry. Okay, <laughs> so it wasn't too far off. Not like the um, commercial ones that are like flavorless. These yeah. ones have some sourness that make them very good. Nice punch to it. But they are very seedy. So the best thing to do with them is the jam. So you okay. strain all the seeds from them mm -hmm. and make a very nice jam. You know, I just, I ate the seeds. I didn't really, I didn't notice it so much. Maybe just I didn't chew that hard of it. Mm -hmm. And is that, uh, is that popular here? Do people in the area make a jam out of it? Only the very native people, because mm -hmm. you need to spend like two or three hours making a little uh, yeah. cup of them. <laughs> and Fun. also you have a very nice juice from when you cook them. The water stains with the flavor and you can say very nice juice. Ah, oh, that's great. Well, this is a really tasty one. And uh, so I love finding something that only grows in a small area of one country. That's. That's really cool. Thanks for showing this to me, Marco. You're welcome. We got some daisies growing, which uh, I've been told only grows up this high into the mountains. <laughs> so this is a look-alike to those blueberries. You see the leaves are quite different, but the fruit is pretty similar looking. And you gotta be careful because these ones are not so edible. And they look like a little blueberry. But you wouldn't really want to eat these. Marco here says that uh, he's eaten a few and he hasn't died yet. <laughs> so maybe you can. Does he ate one? Mm -hmm. Feel sick? No. <laughs> Doesn't taste but, good. Though. But they don't taste good. Yeah. They taste like nothing. <laughs> well, since Marco ate this and um, survived, let's, uh, I'll try one too. <laughs> it just tastes like not much of anything. A little bit like a stick <laughs> sort of taste, like a little woody. 
Maybe a little, like a one out of 10 on sweetness though. A little bit of sweetness, not anything else. Not really worth the uh, potential risk <laughs> of being poisoned. So this here is an endemic oak tree that only grows here in Costa Rica. In fact, the, uh, the species on it is, uh, what is it, Marco? Quercus costarricensis. So it's, it's in the name. And you were saying that it's kind of, it's, it's endangered? It's not endangered because it, in the forest areas, yeah. they grow a lot, but when people cut for cow pastures yeah. and the cows eat all the seedlings then that all the trees will die, eventually die and leave bearing the land. I see. So in this area you can see it's kind of like sparse here and that's because this is a cow pasture and it's not getting a, a chance for the trees to recycle. Like so they, they drop their they drop their acorns, a new sprout comes up, but then a cow will come and eat it. <laughs> so this, these old trees here, once these are gone, there might not be any other ones left in this area. Very interesting. I would like to give a big shout out to Lofty Rex and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon.com is basically how I can afford to go on all the adventures I do on this channel. So if you enjoy my series and you want to help support me, check out the link in the description below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, I also have t-shirts for sale like this one here, the Durian Anatomy shirt. That is available on my website, which I also put in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time.